Yo, what is going on my people? I am back doing another video for you guys and we're gonna go ahead and do Pizza Simulator. Now I already know this is FNAF 6 pretty much but it's a good thing that Scott Coffin made this game free. So let's go ahead and do this. Ding. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Design pizza. Go to the pizzeria. Okay. Let's see. I want that. I want that sausage. Give me that mushroom. Peppers? Sure, why not get the peppers? Man, I'll get everything on here. Let's go. I got everything on here. <laughs> Enjoy your pizza. Enjoy all of them. I will feed you. Enjoy, kid. Have your pizza. I'm Freddy Fazbear. Time to eat. We killing this. I like this music too. It helps. I wish I could click the throw them. That'll be make it better for me. You're gonna have enough of doing that! Oh my god, I'm getting so tired of you. Eat, kid, eat! There we go. You eat that pizza. You know, you go all the way up here. I'm faster than you. You're stupid. Ah, sticky case! I, I got you, son. I got you. Oh god, this is so bad. Go, 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 go! Feed the child! Oh my god. I'm getting so tired of you. What makes it worse is I suck at keyboard and keyboard or mouse anything, so it makes it all worse. Um, eat! Oh my god. Alright, let's go! Eat! Eat, boy! Oh my god. Eat! Eat! Oh my god, he ate one. I think he needs one more. Okay, go, 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 go! Eat! Yes! What? Well, why is his head stuck? Oh, I'm transforming! Oh my god! My game broke. Ah, oh, no! Ah, oh, no! Ah, oh, no! What? What is this? What happened to the friendly, I don't know, kitty game? Begin tape. Leaving dead space, three, two, one. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions. Why am I here? Audio stimulus. <laughs> if you are playing this tape, <laughs> the means heck? that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph four. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Ooh, you ugly! Get out my face! Document results. Uh, sure. Begin audio prompt in three, two. Can I pick one. up the paper? Instead of looking down, she gonna eat my face off, man. Document results. Uh, 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 sure. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. What's the audio prompt for? <laughs> oh God, I'm getting paranoid. Look at your face. It's so ugly. It's like she's 
Uh, no. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Ah, oh, no, y'all tripping. Y'all tripping with this. No, man. Man, what the heck? It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career Ooh, you into ugly. your own hands. You've saved <laughs> money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a hey. huge gamble on your future. Hey. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. Why are you lying to me? What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. Only That's you can right. prevent wildfires. Ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things. Man, they some ugly people. I'm sorry. Fazbear <laughs> Entertainment franchisee, such as atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Okay. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue. Saving money day. is for nerds. More money okay. in your pocket. Ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Oh. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain Sold as is, you might die. Aside from the daily risk Y'all tripping. Lawsuits, nope. There's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated. Man, look way how you're staring at me, Remember, man. You are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Well then, that's nice for you to let me know. Um, let's see. How to a two-step guide to restaurant management. Use catalog mode to purchase items, animatronics, and other supplies. Use blueprint mode to place items, upgrade items, or upgrade your floor plan. So what is this, an RPG? I'm down. Okay, cool. As long as they don't choke me to death. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great. That should be more than a hundred bucks. Now let's get started. What a hundred dollars gonna get me? Your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use okay. the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. Oh, okay. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. Oh. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some okay. shopping. Cool. Okay. Well, let's see. I don't want to be here. <laughs> so, I'm going to make... I'm going to be lazy as crap with this, you know? I'm not even going to put too much effort into it. The only thing I really want to say is that I might want to stage. Because, of course, there's going to be animatronics here. So, let, let's first off... We're going to get the small stuff. We're going to go ahead and get some... Some paper cups and paper plates. It's five bucks. I'm cheap. Okay, let's go ahead and get um, something else. We got colorful cups and plates. We already got paper plates and paper cups. What else do you need? Um, single stage? I don't know about that. Sanitation station. A hundred buckaroonies. Discount cooling unit. A pond? 
you know hold on hold on i did see a little um a little bounce thing i mean not bounce thing what i'm saying the uh, ball pin with boxes that's 30. okay get all the cheap stuff 30 bucks for a barrel and three balloons come on now you gotta do better than that um let's see what we have hmm, how much i got 65 bucks left so all this stuff is just completely unavailable. Paper pals. Why not? It's five bucks. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get ourselves a stage. You know, I may actually go ahead and put effort into this. I don't know. Let's buy one, a single stage. Let's do that. And, okay, let's go to blueprint mode. I'm loving the music, man. All right, so it's WASD to move. What do I, how do I put stuff down? Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh wait, so the stage was, oh okay, when you have it, the stage is already there. All right, that makes the most sense, I guess. So I can't put anything else down? I thought I bought more stuff. Oh wait, no, I got the paper plates and paper cups. Uh, oh, this place look oh so stale. Sponsorship offer. Let's see. It's offering to pay advertisement in your establishment for $250. Accept or no thanks. Why not? It's more money. I might as well go for it. Uh, hmm. Okay, uh, I think this should be it, really. I mean, I don't see anything else to place. So let's go back to the catalog. Oh wait, I think I'm done. Am I done? Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can, oh wait, no, I got more money. All right, cool, so we can buy more stuff. Um, I got way too into this more than I thought. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's go and get a, let's go ahead and get a pond. That's 45 bucks. Let's go. Got an upgrade. Uh, Bucket Bob, the lamest animatronic that there ever is in FNAF universe, or Mr. Can Do. What's up with these names? Hey, it's, uh, it's robotic-ish, right? Might as well go for it. Why not? I'm so cheap. <laughs> I am so cheap. Let's go ahead and get us a sanitation station. We want to be clean, right? Place already looked like crap, so why not? And let's get us a let's get us a um a new stage. We do this. We got a nice looking stage at least. Looking pretty cool sanitation station. No, let's put the pond over here. We can't leave this side all left out. Yeah, let's go. Finish. Let's go. Not bad. Not bad for first go. All right. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't hey. mean your job is finished, however. Oh. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy papers to print and repairs to make okay once you've taken care of all the items on oh your I have to list, wait you can log off for the day and get out of there money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket we've got you covered the only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office okay now on to other matters something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you I can from hearing things in adjoining air vents. Okay. It won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. What you mean something you might be in the vent? The terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. 
Okay. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Okay. Well, I mean, it doesn't seem all that bad. Dude, these air vents actually do creep me the heck out, though. What's up with that clown? What the heck? Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what to think about this. Come on, just print the stuff. I swear I thought I heard something. Man, can y'all put like a ventilation grate over the whole thing so I don't have to die? I can feel that Ballora coming after me, man. I mean, not Ballora. Well, wrong one, baby. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ballora was the wrong one. I don't think she... Is she even in this game? My light flickering too much. Dang. I didn't even open the place in the toilets or clo- Whoa! Okay. Okay. Whoa, what was that? I swear, man, this y'all making me paranoid, man. Oh my god. Let's try this again. Let's clean the ovens. I wish you could clean ovens like this in real life. Life would be way easier. Unclog toilets, clean the kitchen, clean everything else. I'll love that. Shoot. Make life a lot easier for me. I swear, man. They should have made an indication like of something's in there, like glowing eyeballs or something. Oh. Okay. Great job. It looks hey. like you're getting the hang of this. Let's go. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. Okay. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Okay. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Oh, I'm up for it. <sighs> I'm actually quite, I'm quite liking the little RPG aspect of the... Congratulations on completing your first day. Oh, oh no, no, man. What is this? There is another aspect to your end-of-day routine. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping, man. What the heck? Any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often. And while we aren't sure why... What we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. All right. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. You choose to keep it and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. I don't know if what the heck I just wrote down. To try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Okay, uh, let's proceed. 
You Why not? I ain't, to proceed with the I ain't no checklist. punk, man. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> I got this. Company issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Ah, that noise makes your stomach turn, don't it? Document results. Okay, I said that. Begin audio prompt in three, two. Whoops! No, 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 no. Oh, did he get closer? You may need a little zap, buddy. Results. Begin audio prompt in three, Can I zap you? Two, one. Please sit back. Thank you. I don't like you like that, man. It was kind of dark on my on my screen over here, so I had to uh, look really close. Uh, what now? Did I break him? Ah, it's creepy. Document results. Bro, step back. Two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. What the heck is this curse music? Oh no, man. Sound like the FNAF 1 music. Hold on. Nope. I don't trust that jump, man. I don't. I really don't. Document results. You have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. He about to eat me. Well done. You not Save see that? Tape. Oh my god. Nah, they, they tripping, man. <laughs> you tripping? No. Oh my god. Hey, no lawsuits. <sighs> at least we got some good salvage value so that's good so right now guys we're gonna end it off here part one of technically FNAF 6 or FNAF simulator or whatever you want to call it it's FNAF 6 in my eyes look at this crap like dude it's insane I'm liking it so far the RPG aspects and the horror aspects too it's weird but eh, why not so, I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know what type of video it's going to be, but I'll see you in the next one. Peace.